Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. It's been a long time since I put out a video, but we are back. Definitely filmed a lot of stuff over the summer. Didn't get a chance to edit and post it, but now I changed the oil on the Grievous and it's also that time of year where the leaves are falling and we are getting ready for daylight savings. So allow me to show you how to reset the oil clock on the VIC for this Jeep. And I'll also show you how to change the clock and time and all that good stuff. So this is actually gonna be a VIC video. All right guys, here we go. Fresh oil change on the General Grievous ZJ. We also are in daylight savings time. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to change the oil intervals, uh, how to reset the oil clock. And we're also gonna reset the regular clock so we're gonna work on this Jeep VIC so let's jump in here and uh, we'll show you how we do it here we go into the general uh, all right here we go guys all right it's time to program the VIC now if you don't have a VIC or your VIC is broken I got a great video on how to install one in your vehicle or how to take this out and fix the problems that it may have of course not all of them have the same issues sometimes it'll work sometimes it won't but uh, I really like this VIC and I'm glad I was able to install this and get a working VIC. So link in the description for that video. So the first thing we're gonna do is reset our oil clock and our mileage intervals. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press and hold set and we're gonna turn on this vehicle. There we go. Now we are in the main menu. Of course, the engine isn't on, it's just the ignition on. So we're gonna select for the next. And this is changing through all the different languages. All right, we're gonna go back to English because that's what I speak. So set. Now we got 12 hour clock mode. We could go 24 hour clock mode, which is military time. We're gonna go back to the 12. Next set, now here we go. Our mileage to service. You can select 2,500, 2,000, 7,500, and keep going in increments of 500 miles. And we're gonna go down to 3,000 miles. It's a good time to do an oil change, especially if you have an older vehicle, higher mileage. Let's change the oil sooner than later. We'll keep this baby nice and new. So here we go, set. All right, now that we have all our settings set, we're gonna cut this off. Turn this back on to the ignition on position. We're gonna get our regular miles to service indicator. We're also gonna get our clock in a second. Here we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold set. Now we're gonna be able to set everything. So let's set the time. It is going to be four. There we go, four o'clock p.m. And it is now Sunday, November 7th, daylight savings time. So there we go, guys. The clock is now set. We're gonna go hit select. There we go, now that we set the time, we're gonna go ahead and set the mileage and we're gonna press and hold select. There we go. Beep, 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 beep. We are all set back at 3,000 miles. That is how you set your VIC on your Jeep ZJ's easy stuff. All set. And of course, some other things you can set is your odometer right here. Reset that trip, press and hold. You could also reset your overhead console. Let's go to the odometer here. We're gonna reset by pressing them two together. There we go. Everything is reset. We are good to go. All right, guys, that's just about it. Everything you need to know on how to program your Jeep ZJ VIC. One other important thing, guys, when you're pressing the buttons, you're gonna wanna make sure you press to the side of your letters because if you keep pressing on those letters, eventually they will rub off. So what I like to do is press the side of the button. It'll avoid wearing out your nice ZJ buttons. You're gonna wanna try to make these buttons last as long as possible because they are getting harder and harder to find. A lot of people 
throw out their VICs when they break. Instead of fixing them, they'll make them into a cubby. But uh, I like mine fixed, and I like mine looking nice. Eventually, this Grievous will be a classic, and I'm going to try to keep it as nice as possible. So, that's uh, that's another video in the books. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember to like and subscribe. Of course, there's more VIC videos in my channel. A couple years back, I installed this. I went from a GDM to a VIC. So, uh, that's it, guys. I'll, uh, I'll post a lot more videos soon. I got a whole bunch of work that I did on Jeeps this summer that I didn't get a chance to edit and upload. So um, that'll be coming soon, hopefully, uh, God willing. And uh, yeah, all right, guys. See you guys. Like, subscribe. Catch you on the next project. Peace. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Dan H. And my ZJ door is falling off.